We love chicken. Bakit? Napaka-affordable, ang bilis lutuin, at syempre, kung may pamilya ka, paborito ng mga bata, especially ang fried chicken. So today, let's upgrade your favorite breaded chicken recipe by adding some spices and another level of flavors para mas maging social. So let's make Cajun chicken fingers. Okay, so, uh, siyempre kailangan may rice because rice is life, but you are my life, oh, di ba? So, let's cook yellow rice. Napakadaling gawin. You can also cook this in the rice cooker. Kaso lang yung akin pong mahiwagang rice cooker, may lamang plain rice. Para sa mga may gusto ng plain rice, so I'm going to use my green casserole. Hindi naman kailangan green. So, I'm going to put some rice, water, and turmeric powder. Yun lang, para lang maging dilaw yung kanin. We're putting turmeric powder. You just mix it a bit. If you don't like the flavor of the turmeric, parang antapang, pwede mong bawasan ng konti. Because alam mo naman ako, I don't like to use uh, yung mga artificial food coloring. Kaya dun tayo sa natural. I'm using turmeric. Turn on the flame. Okay, and you just cook it like that. You just leave it hanggang maluto. Pag paluto na, I have here two tablespoons of butter. Imamount mo lang or you just incorporate the butter into the rice. So, syempre, takpan, iwan mo, pero babalikan. So, now, let's move to the chicken. I have here one kilogram of chicken breast filet. You can also use chicken thigh. Of course, if you don't like chicken, you want to use fish, you can use fish fillet. Kung vegetarian ka, you can use tofu or you can even use mushrooms. Anything na gusto mong i-bread, pwedeng-pwede for this recipe. Of course, the complaint is minsan po ang chicken malansa. Ganun talaga minsan. Hindi natin naiiwasan yon. So I'm going to put grated ginger. Just put around 2 teaspoons of grated ginger. This will remove the lansa and will also give you the nice oriental kick. No? Mapapansin mo yung difference later on. And then of course, we season it with some salt, just a teaspoon of salt, some black pepper, and this is lemon juice. You just put a bit para lang may konting acidity, no? And this will also help tenderize the chicken meat even more, especially you are using breast, mabilis pa-dry. You can also use calamansi juice, no problem. And you put garlic powder and a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Ay, yung anak ko po ayaw na maanghang, don't worry. Hindi siya magbibigay talaga ng anghang na para bang, ah, ang anghang po, ayaw kong kainin yan. Hindi ganon. It will just add some kick. Kung yung one teaspoon is too much for you, you can even put just half a teaspoon or one-fourth teaspoon. No problem. And just a pinch of thyme. Para lasang sosyal. Ang thyme is one of the herbs na pagka nilagay natin even in simple dishes such as your breaded chicken, naglalasang sosyal yung niluluto natin. O, di ba? Ang ganda talaga pag may time. Pero, pinakamaganda pag may time for you. O, di ba? So, let's put this. I like the smell. Even if ngayon, ina-allergy ako, you can feel it. I I'm sure you can hear it through my voice. Naamoy ko pa din siya. Ang sarap ng amoy. Amoy sosyal talaga. So, yan. Nalagay na natin lahat dito. And you just marinate it. And just, kapat pag ginamit ako pa nito, kakamayin ko din naman yan. Okay, so bago ko, bago ko lamas-lamasin to, no, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to prepare my breading station. Alam na alam nyo na po ito. So you just need some flour, some eggs, and some breadcrumbs. No? Japanese breadcrumbs or panko. But the most important 
part is, or the, the most important technique is, you season your breading station. Isison mo lang with salt. And yung eggs, lalagyan ko ng konting fresh milk. Para lang, uh, mas maging hindi ganung kalapot when we dip the chicken. And of course, you use your spoon. Pinapainit ko na yung aking mantika. Don't judge me. Kung makikita ninyo, i-zoom nga natin dito. The mantika is medyo, may mga itim-itim. That is because, I'm using used oil. Whenever I'm deep frying, gusto ko gumagamit ng konting used oil. So, kung may natira ka from the other day, hinahalo ko dito yon Because mas maganda yung kulay na kinakalabasan ng prito mo pagka may used oil. And, i-massage lang natin tong chicken. Okay, let's massage this. And, of course, how to bread it? Sa flour muna, konting flour. Pagpagin, into your wet, pagpagin, and into your breadcrumbs. Pagdating sa breadcrumbs, dry hand yung gagamitin mo. You want to keep one hand clean. Tuyo dapat yung isang kamay at malinis. Bakit? Para just in case, kailangan mo itong buksan. Kailangan mo buksan yung kalan, hindi messy. Ganun lang po kasimple yon. Breading is one of the first techniques that I've learned in culinary school. 12 years old po ako nung pumasok ako, my first culinary school training. I was 12 years old, and day one, or day two ata, ito yung aming natutunan gawin. Kailangan kasi sa pagluluto, may disiplina. You have to be well organized. Hindi basta-basta yung mabread mo na lang, meron po yung proseso. O diba, lahat ng bagay may proseso. Parang yung pagbe-bread, it promotes discipline in the kitchen. If you do it right and you do it correctly, no, hindi ka mahihirapan later on. O, diba? So, pagpagin mo, ilubog mo sa iyong wet, pagpagin, and then into your breadcrumbs. Pag nilubog mo sa breadcrumbs mo, malinis yung isa mong kamay. It's very important na lahat sa kusina ay malinis. Kasama na tayo dyan. Dahil nasa kusina tayo. O, oh, ba? Kasi kung gutom na gutom na yung anak mo, bato mo na lang yan dyan. Pero ako, what I do is, I wait na makagawa ng mga eight pieces because kapag ka nagprito ka ng isang piraso sa mainit na mantika, what will happen is, masusunog yon. O, ba? Lahat ng bagay sa kusina may dahilan kung bakit ganon, bakit ganyan. Make sure ha na ito po, huwag, huwag niyong pagpapatong-patungin, huwag niyong sisikipin. Kahit po ngayon ay nakita ninyo, pwede nang sama-sama, kailangan bigyan niyo pa din ng physical distancing itong chicken because you don't want the breading to become saggy. Pag nagdikit-dikit kasi sila masyado, nababasa yung breading ninyo. Hindi po maganda yon. Okay? So, I'm going to finish breading this. And magprito na tayo ng isang batch. Oh, ayan. So, I needed some help. So, nandito si Teresa helping me bread the chicken fingers. And magprito na tayo. So, mainit na yung mantika ko. How would you know na mainit yung mantika? Pwede kang kumuha ng maliit na breadcrumbs. And, maghulog ka lang. O, oh, ba? Pag bumula ng ganyan, mainit na. Or, you can get a wooden spoon and ilubog mo yung wooden spoon, you will see bubbles umaakyat. ba? O, oh, bongga. Ganyan lang kasimple. Now, when you are frying, I always tell my kitchen team, pagka nagtuturo ako, kailangan para kang pupunta niyan sa gera, prepared ka. Mainit yung mantika mo, meron kang mga wastong gamit, and meron ka ding lalagyan ng pinirito mo. So, your, uh, ano ba tawag dito? Basta, yan na yan. Yung lalagyan ng pinirito para tumagas ang mantika. And bakit ako may wooden spoon? Para kung sakaling aapaw yung mantika, ilagay mo yung wooden spoon dyan. It will help, no? Prevent yung mga bubbles na umaangat-angat sa taas. No? Ganun lang kasimple. Now, let's start frying. 
meron ako dito chicken fingers and pag nagpriprito ka palaki mong binabato papalayo sa iyo kasi baka matalsikan ka oh di ba binabato mo iniitsa mo palayo sa iyo and then leave it alone wag kang ay hahaluin ko wag because mahuhubad ang breading so you have to leave it alone pwede mo lang itulak na ganyan oh see how nice Mabilis po maluto yan, around 5 to 7 minutes because this is chicken breast. Mabilis po maluto ang chicken breast. You don't want to over fry it because it will become dry. And then, pag nilagay mo yan sa iyong tagasa ng mantika, huwag mo din pagpapatong-patungin kasi ang mangyayari dyan is kukunat ng madali yung piniprito mo. And then, you clean your oil first before frying the second batch. Linisan mo lang ng konti para hindi na kokontaminate. Ayan. So, let's finish frying this. And then next, gagawin naman natin ang sauce. Ayan. So, I'm frying the last batch of my chicken fingers. Gawin na natin yung rice dahil luto na siya, nasilip ko, in-in na. I'm going to just put the butter, ganun lang kasimple. Lagay mo lang yung butter mo. Fold mo lang yung butter. Oh, look. Okay, next. So, let's prepare the first sauce. Oh, isa lang naman talaga yung sauce na gagawin mo from scratch. Kasi yung isa is just... Tomato ketchup, but if you want banana ketchup, use banana ketchup. This is your honey mustard sauce. You just put mayonnaise, mustard, and a bit of honey. Just mix it like that. Okay, and how do you eat it? Oh, di get ka ng ano, pero ayan, dip mo dyan. Mmm. The chicken is so moist. But, actually, ganito yan. Isa pa. Bago ko ipakita sa inyo, isa pa. Anguin ko muna to. Kakakain ko. Baka mamaya, makasunog ako ng chicken. Wala kasi kung mga squeeze bottles. Ginagamit lahat. So, I'm going to put it in a piping bag. So, first, maglagay ka ng tomato ketchup into your piping bag. Pwede mo na actually ibuhol yan since this is a disposable piping bag. And you get your honey mustard sauce. Ayan. Paano ba ito kinakain? Ganito. Pwede nyo akong gayahin. So, kuha ka ng rice. Huwag niyong gayahin yung serving ko kasi nagdadayat ako, charos. Chicken. Your honey mustard sauce. Drizzle your honey mustard sauce. Drizzle your tomato ketchup. Kung mas masaya ka sa banana ketchup, push! And kuha ka lang ng konting smoked paprika. I... Ano mo lang? Isi? Ganyan lang. Okay. Nagyan natin ng konting chopped. Spring onions. For color. Mm. Isn't this bonga? Your Cajun chicken fingers. Siyempre, ang pinakabonga pagka tinikman mo. siya maanghang ha. Hindi po siya yung nakaka-intimidate na parang ayaw mo ipakain sa bata. Feeling ko, kung ako nga yung bata, mas kakainin ko to kasi colorful. Mm. Especially the, the mixture of the sauce. 
Kung ako lang ha, kung ako lang po ha, ako nga po ito. Gusto ko, may added spice pa. So, lalagyan ko pa ng sriracha. Kung ako lang nga po, eh kung ayaw mo po ng may added spice, hindi naman kailangan. Mm. Iba pag may added spice. So, huwag ka na maghintay. O alam ko, naiinggit ka na. Especially pag nasa harap mo yung pinirito mo and kinakain mo siya ng parang parang cornic. Diba? So, gumawa ka na. Because this Cajun chicken fingers, pinapawisan na ako because of the sriracha, will surely make you happy. Pwede mo din itinda to. Ilagay mo sa catering business mo, sa restaurant business mo. O, diba? Bongga. Enjoy and see you soon.